guys welcome back to my channel my name is Bolu simply Bolu thank you so much for clicking please like share subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have anything to say and let's get right into it so today I will be discussing laser hair removal so the clinic that I personally I went to is um therapy clinic I don't know if you guys can see that there um now the only reason I picked them is because I know when I was looking into laser hair removal a few years back a lot of places didn't actually didn't actually um do the laser hair removal on black black people or brown people so i was like a few years back i was kind of disappointed but ever since i found out that therapy clinic did do it on darker skinned people i was like that's a yes so two years two years ago i actually stopped shaving completely just because me personally whenever if i shave today by tomorrow the hair if it's back everything the hair is back like it's like I didn't shave and that just really got on my nerves so I switched over completely from shaving to I switched over to waxing so I was like waxing for two years straight and that was fine Sorry, every two to three weeks I'd go back and get waxed and that was fine I really I didn't mind it like the pain was it was sore but it was manageable like I managed it um but so during lockdown, I was I had to start waxing myself, and I started using Veet hair removal, and not hair, sorry, Veet waxing strips, and that was fine. I didn't mind doing it, but after a while, it just became really like tedious and tiresome, and kept having to use like I just didn't I didn't like doing it anymore. So for some reason, I think I just kept saying it to my girlfriends like, oh, I'm tired of like waxing or something like that. And I don't even know because. I kept getting ads for laser hair removal and it was like 70% off um, in therapy clinic and I was like let me look into it I might as well since I'm tired of waxing so I actually did a phone consultation with one of the people in therapy clinic and she told me that yeah so they their machines actually um, work on dark skin people it picks up the pigment of our skin tone and that was great she was like oh if you are blonde or if you are a ginger it might not pick up on you and i was like don't need to worry there love like i'm black the hair on my body is black so it, it's a go it's a go for me and that was great um so then she just walked me through some things and how it may feel or the do's and don'ts i paid for a six session i was about to say Six sessions I got I got my armpits and I bought got bikini Hollywood first um it was like the original price was like in the thousands or like sorry 1000 something and but I got it reduced well not I got it reduced but it was reduced down to 430 it was like combined the six sessions each so it was like 434 and I was like that's to me that was a bargain so I was like compared to shaving not sh shaving waxing every two three weeks like I usually do this 400 and something will probably last like maybe a year or like even e more than a year and then I go back every year like every few months on top of the laser um hair removal so I was like that's that for me that was like a bargain so I was like sure no problem okay so just some things so before i went in i was told not to shit and not to wax i had uh, not to wax or use hair removal cream on the areas that i was going to get um lasered it off and that was fine she told me to wax um, i was only at shave 24 hours before and that was fine um so i shaved 24 hours before now you're not allowed to use any ointment or any creams or like moisturize the uh, the areas that you're gonna get like or use any deodorant because i got my armpits so i wasn't allowed to leave, use any deodorant on my armpits i went like early in the morning and like my my appointment was like 9 a.m so i had like a shower and i just like made sure like when i came out i didn't moisture put any deodorant on my armpits and went straight to the place okay um when i got there i actually did ask like i recorded just for like a little bit when she w went out of the room when like when she went left the room so i could like get undressed i did record myself like saying a little bit and that was fine but um so i go inside there i'm so there's like a little wet wipe um so you can cleanse yourself there's a little wet wipe and then there's like a little there's like a it's like 
it feels like paper mache it's not paper mache but that's what it feels like and you kind of use it as a towel to just cover your laps and then she comes in and then she hands you like um she basically hands you like oh, she hands you like literally two cotton pads you just place it over your eyes and then she like helps you to like she puts goggles over your eyes just so your eye just so because of the machine the the light from the machine just to protect your eyes and that was fine so i was wearing the top like this put my hands up she did my armpits first so the art the outer parts of my armpits they didn't hurt because that like the hair grows very like it's very fair and it didn't hurt and it was fine on the outer parts but like right bang in the middle oh <sighs> just before she actually told me she was like if it hurts too much let me know i can stop and just give you a moment to breathe i was like girl I i've been waiting for this like for the whatever months and i've been waiting for this i was like let's 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 go let's go so she started i, I was like i can take it like a champ so she started, she started on the outer area. No, first she like marks you with like chalk. Um, just so she like, she can get it within the squares or whatever. But I just remember her telling me like, she's gonna mark me with like chalk, not chalk, but like a white pencil. Um, white eyeliner to be precise actually. I remember seeing that after. So she marked me and then she started and she started in the art of corners. They were fine. No two things bad, like I could feel it. Like I knew it wasn't painful, but I could obviously, you could obviously feel it. Then she got like right bang into the middle. <sighs> Bro. I was like, <gasps> oh, it feels like, now for me, whoever told me it was like a pinch and it didn't hurt, lies. Lies, 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 lies. Whoever told me it didn't hurt, Listen, your pain threshold must be like here. I don't have a very high pain thresh um, high pain threshold, but I do get waxed. So I I, I thought my, my pain threshold was fine. Like I could manage it. Once she started in there, like it was really painful, but I didn't have to tell her to stop. For me personally, it felt like, okay, you know when you like when you're younger and like, have you ever, I don't know if you've ever like lit a match and you put your hand or lit a candle and you put your hand over the candle like when you're a kid i don't know i don't have kids other kids did this but i know i did you know my friends did this and you put like you can see like who can last the longest anyway it's kind of like that so it's like a lit match or a fire it's like and that's how it feels on your skin it's like the intensity from the laser is like it's it's really intense so it was fine through there i can manage all my armpits but once she got down to like basically got my, my vagina i was like sis stop cut the cameras dead ass i was like i was like stop please <laughs> i was like this is too much like it was it was so intense like she was like Z -Z. i was like stop somebody help like help i need help it was so intense like don't get me wrong I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back i paid for my six sessions so i'm gonna get my six sessions but i will not lie to you it did hurt. It literally felt like a, a match was like repeatedly put on your skin, especially like down there. It was like again and again and again and again. And I was like, this needs to stop because I'm gonna scream. <laughs> but obviously I didn't scream. Like the, the whole process in, as a whole, I would say lasted maybe, I don't think a, 10 to 15 minutes and when i'm saying like 15 minutes max and even that 15 minutes that was like even me like probably like undressing and getting ready and waiting for it to come in like the whole thing was very quick um and yeah so afterwards she actually put um she put um aloe vera gel now i bought this with her i bought this from laser hair um from therapy clinic just because like this is like she told me it was like pure aloe vera gel it was un, un um, scented on fragrance so i was like okay i need this just because i felt like a little tingling and i was like she told me in case i needed anything to soothe it this would be like the best thing and i was like fine i'll just buy this and i also with them i also bought the um murad um a h a AHA BHA um, exfoliator and I use this two to three times a week just be and she told me that's really good um 
just because I don't like razor bumps and I don't like ingrown hairs or anything like that. That's why I actually stopped shaving, just because when I used to shave, uh, sometimes I would get ingrown hairs or like razor bumps and I really didn't like that. So, but this is actually really, I can say this has actually really helped with that. Um, so apart from that, I would say laser hair removal at a 10 for the pain, I'd give like an eight. So it, but I have a low, low pain threshold. So if you have a high pain threshold, I'd say for you, it'd probably be like a six. I don't know, six, seven. But for me personally, I give it like an eight. And if I want to be like dramatic, I could give like a nine. <laughs> but I say like an eight is like a pretty accurate score. Um, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you do get laser hair removal and it's a lot for you. If it's not a lot for you, let me know your experiences, your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned and bye. Bye guys.